What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Andy with Get Awesome Gaming here, back with another episode in my playthrough of the Isle of Armor DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. In the last episode, we were tasked with catching these Slowpokes, which are fast for some reason. And there they go. I don't think those other students are going to catch them on foot. So, interesting bit of uh, information here. Well, maybe not interesting. Uh, you seem to have an awesome bike. Let me customize it if you'd like. Okay, well, you know what? Let's try it here. I'll... So, my story is I actually had started to record this episode last week. And a lightning... Ooh, black. We'll go with black for sure. And a lightning bolt actually hit the transformer in my allotment and took out the power in just my allotment. Uh, it was strange because it wasn't seriously storming or anything. Ooh, and I, that's nice. I like that. I tried the white in the previous episode. Uh, it just sort of came out of nowhere. It was just relatively quiet, a few rumblings, and then all of a sudden it was just death from above. Like... It was legit. Power was out for about six hours, so I think I see the slowpokes. One of the slowpokes. Oh, I missed him. So I was actually kind of worried that I wouldn't get to stop from right where I ended the last episode. Oh, how did... Come on now. simply because I didn't know if there was an autosave anywhere. There we go. In that little bit that I tried to record last time. Okay, so looks like we're just trying to defeat him. We're not trying to catch him. Um, we'll just go with Discharge. I'm not sure. I think he still keeps his water type. Clara's Dojo Jacket. Alright, so now let's look for the other two. There's another one. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised that this uh, DLC, the wild area for this DLC looks bigger than I expected it to be. So that's kind of a pleasant surprise. I thought it would just be a, uh, a small version of what we got in the main game as far as the wild area goes, but it looks like it's relatively the same. They've just cut out the whole linear area of the game that we played through in the base game. Dojo's T and Dojo Shorts. Only one of those fast slowpoke left. It's definitely some cool Pokemon that we're seeing here. Oh, there's a cave. Crawdance. It does seem like it's not completely new Pokemon. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're going to chase him in the cave. It seems more likely that they would have us try to chase him in an open area of sorts. But 
Where are you? Where have you gone, Mr. Snowpoke? Forest of Focus. I didn't tangle up. Um, I feel like the other two are pretty close together. Seems like... What was that? That was just a gold duck. Okay. Oh, there he is. I figured that was what was going on. I was headed in the wrong direction. Okay, we gained XP points, and the last piece of Clara's uniform, dojo gloves, dojo legwear, you should go to tell Master Mustard, okie doke. Um, you know what, I think I actually got lost. Or at least somewhat. Alright, so it looks like we gotta go south. Okay, back at the dojo. Oh, Lily, welcome back. You, don't tell me you got my uniform back all on your own. Here you go. Oh, well, uh, thanks. Well, Mustard, Lily. You cleared the first trial like it was nothing. Why, I think this is the first time since Leon that someone was able to handle all three fast slowpoke on their own. The rest of you tried very hard to. You were able to catch up to the slowpoke, but I guess you couldn't defeat them. Ugh. Tell you what, anyone who is able to catch up to a slowpoke at least once gets a pass. Lily really outdid herself, so it's only fair everyone gets another chance. Try to make a comeback, everybody. Ooh, how generous. Sigh. Either way, I'm still out. Oh, that reminds me, honey. Where are those little ones? Oh, that's right, darling. I had nearly forgotten. Squirtle, Bulbasaur, come on in, sweeties. That Bulbasaur is my favorite Pokemon in all of Pokemon, so I just love whenever he comes in. Drip. Vine. These are sweet little Pokemon, Bulbasaur and Squirtle. We've all been taking care of them together. And I'd say they're more than a little curious about your strength as a trainer. Why don't you pick one to keep for yourself? You did succeed in the trial, after all. And just so you know, these two have been raised in a very special way. When they evolve, they'll be able to Gigantamax. It's, it's definitely Bulbasaur. I love Bulbasaur. Ring! So you're going to go with our sweet Bulbasaur? 
It's a first-rate grass-type Pokemon. Yes. Battle back. Okay, he's been sent to a box. I think we want to go ahead and add him to our party, though. Bulbasaur looks pleased as punch that you chose it. Remember that your new Pokemon will be able to Gigantamax once it is fully evolved, so be sure to raise it well. Dynamaxing a mysterious phenomenon unique to the Pokemon of Galar. And then there's Gigantamaxing, a very special way of Dynamaxing for very special Pokemon. Their moves change, of course, but their appearance change, too. Speaking of Gigantamax, there's that secret recipe of the Master Dojo. Drinking it makes you gigantic and strong. I call it Max Soup. I'd love to have a bowl of Max Soup full of Max Mushrooms right about now. It sure has been a while. And that's why your second trial shall be Mushroom Picking. Max Mushrooms are the key to Gigantamaxing, and I'm tasking you with finding three. Max Mushrooms are red with a spiral pattern. I'm pretty sure they grow in dark, humid places. And with that, your next trial begins. I'm counting on you. Oh, whoa. And don't you worry, Squirtle. I'll be sure to raise you with lots of love. I'll make you oh so strong, so you'll never lose to Bulbasaur. Teehee. Squirt. Miss Honey, if you want that Pokemon to learn new moves, you can leave that to me. Well, aren't you just the sweetest thing? That lovely lad is always so kind. Give him a bit of Armorite Ore and he'll teach your darling new Pokemon a new moves. You should give it a try. Five pieces of Armorite Ore. You put the pieces of Armorite Ore in your bags, other items, pocket. Okay. So, sort of like a move tutor. Okay, so let's just go ahead. Uh, we got through that pretty quick. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find these mushrooms. Hey, Lily. My bad, my bad. It just dawned on me that you're brand new to the Isle of Armor. I bet you have no idea where to even begin looking for max mushrooms. Come on, let's go for a walk and I'll show you some mushroom hotspots. Okay, maybe this is going to take a little longer than I anticipated. We got to go through... Dum dum dee dee... blah blah blah. Okay. Now, usually the forest of focus is chock full of max mushrooms, but the thing is a swarm of Greedent came through and ate every last one here. So I'm thinking maybe you'll have more luck finding Max Mushrooms if you go check Warm Up Tunnel. It's out on the other side of the forest. Just watch where you're going in the forest, okay? It's easy to get lost. Anywho, good luck with the hunt for Max Mushrooms. Catch you back at the dojo. Um... Is it... Is that the same tunnel? Not 100% sure there. Ah! Did not see you there, Venipede. Corfish? I can't remember if Corfish was in the base game. Might think he was? Oh, there's Quick Balls. Okay.
Okay, Corefish was caught. Okay, so you, we didn't get a Pokedex thing for him, so I guess he was in the original base game. Okay, you said the tunnels. There's a tunnel over there, but I don't know if they're all connected or what. Okay, well, I think that's definitely the entrance he showed us. Let's see, Scyther, Taurus, Kangaskhan, is that Stoutland? Oh, there's, I think that was one of the max mushrooms there. Some wild max mushrooms. Do you want to pick them? Yes, that's why I came here. Hold up a sec. Wheeze, wheeze. Hello, what's this? Three max mushrooms in one spot? Here I thought I need to go find them one by one. I saw those mushrooms first, I swear. I've been at the dojo longer and all, so it's only fair that you let me have them, right? No way. Tisk, yeah, I figured that's what you'd say. Gosh, you're a pain in the neck. You just show up out of nowhere and just happen to be young and talented. If you're looking to get my way, well, I think some vile poisons will take care of that. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Clara. Let's get the record straight here. I'll show you once and for all that I'm the better trainer. Okay. Uh oh, he nailed me with confusion. Ooh, look at that, my attack worked just great. Now get ready for another dose. Okay. Coughing. Go with Cinderace. Not because he's particularly super effective or anything, but just something different. Okay, Whirlipede. Yeah, we'll go ahead and, uh... We'll stick with the fire for the bug. Am I really going to lose again? Is there something wrong with me? Well, at least you evolved one of your Pokémon since the last time we fight. Oh, fine. Hit us with our weakness. What are you, a super effective move machine? Okay. Just when you have... I've you got that I don't. Okay. Apparently, I do not possess the ability to read effectively. Arg, why can't I win? I'm trying as hard as I can. What am I missing? Fine, you can have those silly mushrooms. I'm going to find better ones anyway.
Beep, beep, beep. Hello, hello? Is this Lily's phone? How's the trial coming along, love? Easy peasy. You mean you've already managed to find three max mushrooms? I've been checking in on everybody's progress, but it seems you're in the first place once again. You really are our new rising star, aren't you? I suppose I'd better go put the pot on the stove, but you be careful on your way back. Ciao. Beep. Okay, guys, I think that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. We'll go ahead and see what happens when we finish the second trial in the next episode. As always, if you enjoyed this content, please leave a like. It greatly helps out the channel. If you want to catch more of this playthrough or some of my other content, hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon. And until next time, guys...